Stop and listen. I'm about to tell you some things about the eclipse that you have not heard yet. No, I'm not going to talk about how it forms the Ela for the Tav or how it goes through all the cities of Nineveh. More importantly, I'm going to talk about something in our past. Did you know that in 1811, we had a solar eclipse that was preceded two weeks earlier by a partial lunar eclipse? This is the second solar eclipse that we had in the early 1800s. The reason this is important is because following these, in the year 1811, we had earthquake, over 2,000 to be exact, followed by six to 10,000 in the Booth Hill of Missouri, where the new Madrid fault line is. You should pause and read this because you'll see that we had some as strong as 8.8 .8 in the series following the solar eclipse. Here's where it starts to get interesting. It states that the Mississippi River ran backwards for three hours, as well as many other earthquake phenomena. I bet you didn't hear about that in history class. Stay with me because this is where it gets interesting. There was sand boils, seismic tar balls, earthquake lights, earthquake smog, thunder, and animal warnings. I suggest you pause and read those to see what was going on. What's really interesting is the earthquake smog. It says the skies turned dark during the earthquakes, so dark that the light of lamps didn't help, and the air smelled bad, and that it was hard to breathe. I suggest you just pause and read some of the scriptures that I put here before continuing on, because I'm trying to make this as short as possible. Now, I'm sure you know that the Devil Comet will also be visible during the April 8th solar eclipse. What's interesting is, there was also a comet that came through during the 1811 solar eclipse, the Tecumseh Comet is what they called it. Now, of course, they say that this comet only comes around once every 3,065 years. But I do have something interesting to add to this. The Devil Comet, or as they call it scientifically, the Pons Brooks, orbits the sun every 71 years. Since we will see it this year in 2024 with the eclipse, we can do a little backwards math. And if you look, it actually goes back to the last time we saw it as the year 1811. Of course, they wouldn't lie to us about history though, right? Remember when I mentioned earlier that the solar eclipse of 1811 was preceded two weeks earlier by a lunar eclipse? Well, wouldn't you know it, exactly two weeks prior to the April 8th solar eclipse, we will have a lunar eclipse on March 25th. Those earthquakes were called the Great New Madrid Earthquakes, and of course we know that the path goes right over the New Madrid fault line for the eclipse of April 8th. Maybe they do have reasoning for stationing National Guard, canceling schools, putting out radiation units. I mean, who knows what's in that earthquake smog that's going to dark out the sky, not to mention how that also ties into more scripture. I know I find it odd that I never heard about any of those crazy things that happened during those earthquakes. You would think that would be a big part of history, knowing that some of these occurrences have happened. Of course, do with this information what you will. I do believe that this also ties in with the city's name Nineveh, the sign of the prophet Jonah, and of course, all of the things we see coming through the 40 days that we're going to have to repent. You should read the accounts of the New Madrid earthquakes back in the 1811 and 1812 timeline. It'll blow your mind how much destruction there was, although most of history doesn't tell us about it. Now, of course, fast forward to right now, what that would do to everybody if the grid was taken out during this, or if this caused mass cities, mass casualties, and mass grid down events. Once again, I'm saying that we need to repent as a nation. We need to turn to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, before it's too late. I'm not putting any authority on this happening. I'm just saying that history does tend to repeat itself. And we've seen all of this happen, and it was almost seemingly unimportant for them to tell us about it. And now... We look at this possibly happening again. Seek Christ and repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Much love.